Hi everyone, so this video does exactly what it says on the tin and I actually did a beauty version of this video a couple of months ago and you guys seem to enjoy it and a few of you requested to do a style version so that's what I'm going to do for you today and I'm basically going to show you where I like to invest a little bit more time in my wardrobe and then the parts that I don't feel like that's needed as much and as always with these things this is not a definitive like list that I feel like everyone should abide by. This is going to change depending on you, your style, your taste, what you like to wear, sort of your uniform, the items that you reach for daily. Everyone is different. For me, I'm a real fan of like winter dressing. I love coats, I love layers, I love jumpers and boots. And so that's where I like to spend a bit more of my money because it's my favorite type of clothing. It's the clothing that I feel good in. And in the UK, it's kind of the clothing we wear for most of the year. So I try not to spend as much money when it comes to summer dressing because it's just not really my thing. I'm not crazy into it. And also we don't really get to wear it for that long. So there's a lot of different factors that play into this. So definitely feel free to chop and change this to you, the weather where you live, your taste, all those kinds of things. But I'm gonna get started with where I personally spend my money when it comes to style. So like I said, I love winter dressing and really the epitome of winter dressing are coats and jackets. Now I'm not talking like fashion-y trend sort of pieces here, not necessarily like colorful or patterned. I'm talking about the coats that you get out year after year after year that you could have easily bought back in like 2010 and they still look stylish now. So things like trenches, pea coats, double breasted jackets, those are the things that I love to reach for every single year. And I like to buy them in sort of stone colors, beige, navy, black, just very neutral tones so that they go with everything. And because you've spent a little bit more money on them, you want them to be able to go with everything. So a couple of places that I would recommend looking for this are Whistles. I always fall in love with their coat selection. I got one last year and I just know that I'm gonna be getting that out year after year. Or Reese, I love a good Reese jacket. They're all Always classics. I've got a trench coat from them that I get out year after year. Got it a couple of years ago now and it is still going strong. So I feel like both of those places are a little bit pricey, but they're just coats that are really well made and are gonna like last the test of time. Now my second category for investment purchases are boots. I just love boots. I don't like wearing sandals. I don't like wearing anything that has like my foot out. No one wants or needs to see my toes. And so for me, boots are just I absolutely love them and kind of up until maybe a year or two ago they were not something that I'd invested in I'll just get the ones from Topshop that everyone had like those good old Topshop were they like the Allegra's everyone had those back in like the early days of blogging but last year I picked up the Acne Jensen boots and I love them I've been converted I'm like right okay I feel like it is worth spending a little bit more money on your boots you need to look after them well like getting them resold is sometimes a good idea like polishing them up just making them look nice so that they last a really long time but I feel like after getting those boots I'm kind of converted so those would be my recommendations but I feel like that is just such a classic shoe that I just know that I'll be wearing. I'm gonna say this so many times during the video but wearing for years to come. <laughs> the third category are silk shirts. I've got a load of them behind me and I just love silk shirts. I mean, I think they're great for all year round really. They look really good in the winter, but also really good over the summer. You can just wear them over like camisoles as like a bit of a jacket, just open. You can wear them with shorts and they pair really nicely. It's just a lovely fabric to wear. Like who doesn't want to wear a top? that feels like Hugh Hefner style <laughs> dressing gown on them. They're just lovely, lovely pieces to wear and they're very easily dressed up, dressed down. And for me, I wear one practically every single time that I'm wearing non-loungewear clothes. So they're a good investment because I know that I'm gonna get my use out of them. I love the equipment ones and also the ones from Frame are really nice as well, but they cost a fortune and so I tend to just pepper them throughout the year and like you can't really buy three at the same time, that's just not going to happen. So I sort of see ones seasonally that really stand out to me and I've got the basic black one behind me and also the white one as well and I feel like now I will just get more sort of patterned ones, different colours to add to my collection. However, and other stories do some great dupes for them, like literally side by side they could look exactly the same and they're really nice, really well made as well. So those would be my two recommendations. Equipment, frame, and then under the stories, no, that's three. <laughs> cashmere jumpers. I feel like we're getting on, we're getting on to the good stuff now. Again, like silk shirts. If I'm not wearing a silk shirt during the winter, I'm wearing a cashmere jumper. And I had never been one for cashmere. I accidentally bought a cashmere jumper from H&M 
years ago, like before I even went to uni and got to the till, I didn't realise it was cashmere, it didn't have a tag on it, got to the till and it was like a 30 quid scarf. I was like, what have I done? I have not got enough money to buy this. That was kind of my first foray into cashmere. I hadn't really had much experience with it. And then I feel like I might have got a cashmere jumper or a scarf and I was like, holy cow, this stuff is so soft. This is just the softest, most beautiful fabric. Before that, I'd been wearing sort of those wool jumpers that are really scratchy and because I get really sweaty, it's just a horrible experience. But cashmere is like wearing butter on your skin. It is beautiful. Unfortunately, the fabric just inherently is expensive. There's kind of no way of getting a cheap bargain cashmere jumper. Although my mother-in-law did tell me that she got one in the M&S sale for like 20 quid amazing so definitely something to look out for during sale time because they do some really good deals on them but if not i really love the equipment ones again they're beautiful the salon style is so nice they're not tight they're not baggy they've got a really nice crew cut neck that i find very flattering and again and other stories like i'm just throwing out the same old things under the stories do some really good ones again very similar to the equipment cuts and styles and also in loads of colors and over the years i have had some from the asos white collection that's their like premium collection i've had some and they've ended up lasting really well washing really well and wearing well over time as well so those would be my three recommendations there my final recommendation for where it's worth putting your pennies when it comes to your wardrobe is tailoring in general i feel like good tailoring costs money unfortunately i've tried cheaper blazers cheaper sort of work trousers and the cuts just aren't really there of course you could go and get them tailored which is always an option is to buy your tailoring cheap and then get it tailored to you which i mean obviously ends up being a bit more money but probably not as much money as buying like a whole suit from reese so that's always an option for you personally i don't have much tailoring in my wardrobe i feel like if i worked in an office i probably would have a lot more but i do have a really nice blazer from a brand called ayr they're based in new york it's called all year round i think you can buy it on shop bop they have such a lovely blazer it's called the coupe blazer and i don't like things with lots of buttons or sort of details that's a really gorgeous very plain blazer if you're into that i will link that down below for you or again reese jigsaw that's a really good place for tailoring as well now we're not talking like crazy amounts of money here we're not talking like 500 pounds for a jacket but it's 100 it's a 200 pound jacket they're going to be quite pricey but if you're into tailoring and also when it comes to trousers i feel like me i just love jeans i love jeans completely but i did buy a pair of whistles trousers last year and because they fit so well i've actually started wearing them quite often because they're just lovely trousers and they make a difference to wearing denim every single day so if i can find a link to them i mean they were bought last year but if i can find a link i'll put them down below for you because those are awesome as well the description box for this video is going to be kind of heavy if there's anything that I've talked about specifically that'll be down there but also brands as well I have suggestions for each of these but on to where I think it is worth scrimping bringing those pennies back you can definitely buy these bits off of the high street and I just feel like they're as good as any of their higher end counterparts so first up is denim and I swear over the years I have tried them all I've done Topshop I've done Acme Studios, I've done Frame, I've done sort of everything in between. And actually the ones that I'm loving right now are from Topshop and Urban Outfitters. They're just so well made and they're really good at making sort of trend led denim quickly. So right now I'm loving like a high waist. I actually feel really weird when I wear anything like low sort of hipstery mid rise. I love a good high waist. I think it's very leg lengthening and the Urban Outfitters. I mean, I've, you've heard me say this a million one times, but the BDG Axe jeans are just something else it's also a pair that I've got from Topshop that I really love and they're very similar in style but the Topshop ones are a little heavier in the denim and in the fabric and if I can find a link for them I will link them down below for you as well because they're a really good alternative if you prefer a sort of stiffer denim but overall I just think get your denim off the high street especially because they're things that you buy quite often or sort of go through and you change body shapes and you need new sizes I feel like I'm kind of always on the lookout for denim so I feel a bit more comfortable getting you off the high street knowing that maybe in like six months time I'm not going to fit into it anymore <laughs> the second category for me are accessories so that's like hats belts scarves even jewelry sometimes these are from H&M although I do like my Majuri rings people ask me about those and I'm like they're always in the description box always there but I feel like accessories can really change an outfit and they tend to be a bit more trend led so like one year you might buy yourself a blue scarf and you absolutely love it and you wear it to death and you wear it with everything and then the next year you're a bit like mm, doesn't really go with what I'm trying to go for so I feel like accessories it's worth 
going in low because again they're going to be something that you might change seasonally and go for those kind of trendier pieces and for me again and other stories it's a classic they actually do really good belts i love their belts again topshop is good and asos all places like that they have such good accessory like selections so much i've classed myself as a bit of a jeans and t-shirt girl so of course t-shirts are going to make up quite a large part of my wardrobe and actually until this year I really didn't have that many I was like oh I've got one white t-shirt one black t-shirt what else do I need but I mean you know it's hot you have to wash them frequently so I've invested in a couple more and I find that ASOS do really good basic t-shirts I've got a really nice stripe one from there that I love and other stories again I mentioned this in my midsummer haul I picked up a white one and a black one and they're sort of a bit more tighter compared to other t-shirts that I've got but I really like that because you could wear a camisole over the top if you wanted because they're quite thin and fitted and wouldn't get in the way and also weekday they're a brand that are on ASOS I think that their t-shirts are great I've had one of their black t-shirts I mean, since when we lived in London, so that's like three, four years ago now, I bought that black t-shirt and it is still going strong. So those are my recommendations there. Weekday and under the stories, they probably take the top spot for me. So you know how earlier I was talking about coats and I was like, oh, you should really invest in your coats, you know, all the fancy places. There's one genre of coats where I feel like it is not worth investing and they're sort of fun coats. So for me last year, I bought a leopard print one from ASOS. Absolutely love it. And I feel like this year I'm still gonna wear it, but maybe in five years time, I'll be like, I don't really want to look like Pat Butcher anymore. So for me, if there's kind of fun ones, maybe it's like crazy colors, maybe you're like really into red that year, so you wanna get a red coat or jacket or whatever, I feel like it's worth getting a slightly more high street one, so therefore you don't feel so bad when it ends up in the charity bag in a couple of years time. And for me, I feel like ASOS just does fun, different jackets, and they're not too pricey. I feel like they just do it really, really well. Their jackets are normally under 100 pounds. I think my leopard print one was about 50 quid. And I've worn it, it still looks great. It doesn't look fab. It's definitely got a bit of pilling in the fabric, but it'll be easy enough to kind of take it out with a fabric comb. So I feel like that's when it's worth getting it from the high street. Now the final category I'm gonna cover is occasion wear. Now I've put a question mark next to this because I feel like this is a bit of a tough one. And I feel like maybe we've got a best friend's wedding to go to or like a big party or our own party. And we feel like we wanna go all out. We're like, it's my birthday, I'm gonna go on Netta Porter, I'm gonna go wild. However, for me, I just try and sit there when I do have one of those moments and think, when it comes to occasion where you're not wearing your fancy black jumpsuit down the road every single day, you're not gonna get your cost per wear out of them. So for me, I prefer to kind of hit somewhere in the middle. Somewhere like Whistles, they do great jumpsuits. I mean, basically my occasion wear section, my wardrobe is just three jumpsuits that I just switch between and I love them. So for me, I suggest going kind of somewhere in the middle, something that you still feel lovely in and you really like and you feel super glamorous, but also not something that you're gonna be like paying off on a credit card a year later because it's just not worth it. It's going to hang in your wardrobe. So occasion wear, hit that middle ground and you kind of can't go wrong. So that's it. Those are my recommendations. And as always, there is a blog post that has gone live today about my favorite investment pieces in my wardrobe. I'll make sure that is linked down below for you. But I hope you like this. I hope you got some recommendations. It was actually quite fun. Like putting it together and sitting down I made like a little list <laughs> what I wanted to say so I hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday yeah Wednesday with a brand new vlog see you then bye